This is the <clears throat> Barber Museum near Birmingham, Alabama. And this has the world's largest collection of lotus. As you will see. There are reds of Europa, that's an S2. This is an Elite. This is showing fiberglass monocoque, different than the Corvette that sat on a steel, different than the Corvette that sat on a steel frame. This mon fiberglass monocoque is, supports all the components. So it's a different design, lighter. Kind of in age order, starting over here. These first two are replicas. Lotus Mark I, 1948. Lotus Mark II, 1950. 1952 Lotus Mark III. And 1952 Lotus Mark IV. Six. Mark eight. And a mark nine. That's the Mark 10 in red. And this sweet Gullwing Lotus 11. It says Climax on there. And there's a bunch of gold, uh, Lotus 11s here in all 1956. These are type, it's a type 12. Here, this is a Type 70, <laughs> jumping ahead. Dick Smothers. And these are uh, Type 22 from 1962, Type 65, Type 41B, and a 1971 Type 69 FF. This is the 1977 uh, SCCA National Champion, based on a Lotus 7. And that motorcycle, you can read that display, is the bike that Colin Chapman used as a personal pit bike. So you could actually just uh, put your hand right where uh, Chapman put his butt. Got some uh, formula cars here. The Type 63 from 1969. 1969. It's the Gold Leaf Team Lotus. Pretty popular color scheme. The white and red with their gold. And there's the Essex car. Some of the Esprits were uh, painted to represent this. And then, of course, the nearly infamous John Player Special.
The Type 95T from 1984. The Lotus 101 from 1989. And the 102V, also from 19, uh, this is 1991. This is the 102D from 1992. Rolling back a couple years, Lotus Type 35. Type 18 from 1960. Nineteen seventy, type sixty nine. Nineteen sixty three, Lotus type twenty seven. I'm seeing some use. And this is a type sixty nine from nineteen seventy one, again in a gold leaf livery, if that's a good word for that. And then there's a few others spattered about the museum. Uh, there's our Gurney car way over there. And there's also, just around the corner from this Porsches, uh, another one. And then there's a good collection right down there. So if you ever get a chance to go to Birmingham, Alabama, and you're a Lotus fan, you're missing out if you didn't come here. Uh, one other thing, I'll zip over here real quick and show. I'm not sure what's with the soapbox derby car. And that's hanging up there and has a Lotus emblem on it as well. But what's really impressive, uh, so there's some of those, Lotus bike, some other things, but this collection of models die-cast, whatever, it's just insane. Um, it has the James Bond submarine spree, um, and just so many, the Lotus Cortinas, it's just an like, unbelievable amount of models. one case. And you can see there's a bunch of plastic model kits up there completely unassembled, just the kits rolling all the way along the top there. And then another just crazy display case. It's a James Bond Esprit, John Player Special. Yellow camel car, the Lotus on the spoiler. I don't even know how to capture all of this. No control, the spree, Europa. Just, I, 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 I'm just dumbfounded at the amount of models that were made of all these different Lotus.
And the one thing that's so hard to find is an Excel or an Eclat. <laughs> A few elites. And I guess we have reached the finish. All right. Hope you enjoyed.